All right, guys, in this video, we're basically just going to be showing the birth and growth progression of a Dodicarus. The end is just some clips of uh, what's been happening over the last week. He's pretty close. So, what did you do to start breeding it? You just set it to wander, and then you have to enclose them off, otherwise they wander off. Just make, make kind of a little miniature pen here, close them off, and set them both to wander. And mate. It's been a little over seven hours now. That's intense. And then it's going to be, you say, another five hours to hand feed the, uh, the offspring. Yep. Once they eat from the trough, I mean, you just fill the trough and you're good to go. That's why I picked this, because it'd be easy with the berries to get. Yeah, I suppose. It'll be like small, like big, big, bigger kind of thing, or it just goes from like baby to full grown? I think it grows in size as it gets bigger, I think. That's cool. Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. How's the feed going? This is just Do you want 20, to see eggs? 24 hours later. I've got like 300, I'm, I'm good. Very slow. The little guy's growing up. Just about finished the maturation process. He is almost fully mature. Who are you? Who are you working for? Quetzal's getting a little too friendly with that parser. The army moves. Flock of death mm -hmm. approaches. Oh yeah, he definitely has like, like a secret area. Yeah, no, he's sneaky. His fan as well. This guy is fucking sneaky. Just goes from here all the way. To me. Listen, it basically comes down to, do you care about your Parasaur or do you not? We know you're in this little room. If you come out and open the doors for us, the Parasaur lives. Alright, so should we knock open the top section, Killa? There we are. Can you yeah, weed? Yeah, I can weed. Can you talk on your microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was being sarcastic with the W in front of the R. I don't know. It just seemed like it. Alright. So. Oh, shit, that was funny. Listen, we don't want to kill your dinosaur or hurt you, but we are here to look around. So if you open the doors, we won't hurt your dinosaur or you. 
Quite the little fucking rat hole you've built here, Manix or Manix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ran away? Huh. <laughs> he even had a little mouse entrance and exit. That's funny. Yeah, it's a bit of a game. He probably, probably took, took his, his best, best shit. shit. Because there's really not that much shit, and all we're doing right now is standing around while people might be headed here. Um, we can continue. Yeah. We can take another shot at another wall if you think you uh, have a good idea for it. What do you want to do with this uh, parasaur? Well, I told him if he opened the doors, we'll kill the parasaur. So we we have to kill this. Alright. Ew. <laughs> Poor Parasaur. Oh, he's sedated. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. I'll follow you. Yeah, a little ways away from it though, but circle it around. Cool. Um, so as has begun taming the level 44 T-Rex, he's using kibble and he's begun by starving the creature. How much kibble are you going to use to uh, tame the level 44? Twenty-six, I'm pretty sure. Twenty-six kibble. Okay. And what what kibble is it for T-Rexes? Scorpion. Ah, scorpion. That's right. I had like a hundred uh, scorpion kibble, so I thought I'll start using it. Yeah, no, it's true. Hmm, I'm wondering if we should advise everyone that builds their own pen to start getting like low-level scorpions for the eggs, so everyone gets their own T-Rex.